Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Over the weekend, Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea and Manchester City made it into the final four of the FA Cup semi-final and it is sure to be an interesting fixture. Arsenal will face Manchester City and Manchester United are set to face Chelsea for the fourth time this season. They have already beaten them three times on this occasion. In the La Liga race, Real Madrid further stretched their lead at the top to two points after FC Barcelona were held to a 2-2 draw to Celta Vigo. The last time they won a game against Celta Vigo was in 2015 at Celta Vigo's home and it is standing out not to be a happy hunting ground for FC Barcelona there. Today we're going to look at the performances of Ghanaian players abroad. Joseph Edu was outstanding in that game I just talked to you about Barcelona versus Celta Vigo which further dented their title hopes. In England we had the FA Cup and the final four were settled on Arsenal who faced Manchester City Manchester United versus Chelsea in the final four. In Italy, Italian Serie A raised Cristiano Ronaldo helping his team beat Lecce on Friday night 4-0. A goal and an assist for him. In Germany, the curtains have come down to a successful end to a Bundesliga season. Clubs were relegated and switch Ghanaian players are prominently playing were relegated. They are Fortuna Düsseldorf and Paderborn SC. They came up last season and they have gone back where they came from. I'll be telling you more about that and many more performances of Ghanaian players abroad as Bernard Mensa scored over the weekend. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So I'll just jump right into it without much ado. I'll start off from the English Premier League. There was some Premier League action going on as well as also some quarterfinal FA Cup action. In the Premier League I'll start off from in Watford. They took on Southampton. Kevin Danso was an unused substitute. Danny Ings scored a brace on this occasion. Kevin Danso was an unused substitute for Southampton in this game. Leicester City took on Chelsea in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and Chelsea came up trumps. Ross Barkley came from the bench to score a goal for them. They won 1-0. Daniel Amate was not in the squad for Leicester City. Newcastle took on Manchester City. Christian Achu was not in the squad for Newcastle United. Manchester City dominated this game 100%. Deservedly went away. Win. Nottingham Forest, they, they took on Huddersfield Town. Albert Aduma was not in the squad for Nottingham Forest. They thrashed Huddersfield Town 3-1. Swansea City took on Luton Town in the English Championship and after the high of a great performance for Andrea Ayew and his team last week, it was a poor performance here by them. They lost 1-0 to Luton Town, further denting their chances of getting back into the Premier League. Andrea Ayew played the full 90 minutes. Derby County took on Reading and Andy Adam was not in the squad as Derby County beat Reading 2-1. I moved to Spain next where the La Liga race has spiced up nicely but Sevilla they took on Real Valladolid and Mohamed Salisu was an unused substitute for Real Valladolid. Sevilla and Real Valladolid shared the spoils it was 1-1 on this occasion. Athletic Bilbao took on RCD Mallorca it was a win for Athletic Bilbao they thrashed Mallorca 3-1. Idris Baba played 46 minutes of this encounter Lomo Agbenyenu still out injured for RCD Mallorca. Celta Vigo Joseph Aid was in action versus FC Barcelona. He had a solid performance versus the Catalan champions as they drew 2-2 with FC Barcelona, sharing the spoils there versus Barcelona. This has further dented Barcelona's title chances. They now sit two points behind Real Madrid, who beat Espanyol on Sunday night 1-0. Casimiro with that goal after an amazing assist by Karim Benzema. Real Madrid look like the real deal this season. In Germany, Union Berlin took on Fortuna Düsseldorf. Kelvin Ofori, Kasim Adams and Benak Betekbete did not play a part in this game 
they will return to their pairing clubs that's Kasim Adams and Bernard Tekete. Fortuna Düsseldorf have been relegated in the German Bundesliga. Fortuna, I track Frankfurt took on Paderborn 07. Christopher NJJ played a full 90 minutes as I track Frankfurt beat Paderborn 3 2. They have also been relegated. That's Paderborn SC, unfortunately. Chris NJJ will go back to the second division of the German Bundesliga. I move on to Italy and it was the turn of Lazio. They took on Fiorentina. Alfred Duncan was an unused substitute for Fiorentina. They lost 2-1 to Lazio, who piled under pressure on Juventus in the title race as it gets ever closer to the end of the title race. Sassuolo, they took on Hellas Verona. Claude Japon played 90 minutes of this encounter. Imanola Jimambedu came on in the 68th minute of the encounter. It ended 3-3, a six-goal thriller evenly shared between the two sides. Parma took on Inter Milan and Kojo Asamoa still struggling for a place in the Inter Milan side. They came back from behind to beat Parma 2-1 after a red card Parma suffered. Inter Milan as well got a red card but in the end they held on to that all-important win. That still keeps them mathematically inside the title race. Turkey, I move to next and Kevin Prince Boateng was back in the Besiktas side as they thrust Konya Spor 3-0. He had been excluded from the side after an incident with a shirt throwing. He has been welcomed back into the side. He came on in the 70th minute on Friday night as his team won emphatically. Trabzon Spor played with Angara Kuku and Kaleb Kuban was not in the squad for Trabzon Spore. They shared the spoils drawing 1-1 with Ankara Goku. Seven Spore to Korn K Spore. Bernard Mensah with a goal in the 83rd minute to secure all three points for K Spore, who won 2-0. He scored from the spot and it was great to see him on the score sheet once again. Bernard Mensah enjoying his time in Turkey. Fenerbahce took on Yeli Malatya Spor and it was a free aqua who played a full 90 minutes for Yeli Malatya Spor. Unfortunately for him and his team, they lost 3-2 on this occasion. In Denmark, I moved to next and Lord Shaland took on Brondby. Kudus Mohamed played a full 90 minutes for Lord Shaland. Brondby beats them 2-0. Lask took on Wolfsburger AC. Sam Tete came on in the 46th minute, but his Lask side lost 1-0 to Wolfsburger AC. And finally, Red Bull Salzburg, they took on Hartberg and Majido Shimeru came on in the 70th minute as his side thrashed Hartberg 3-0. So that has been it for today. Amazing to see Bernard Mensah back on the score sheet once again. Not so many goals for most of the Guardian players. Crystal Palace were in, not in action. Jordan, are you reason why you did not hear his name being mentioned here by me? The quarterfinals of the FA Cup took place and we have a final four. As I said, Real Madrid are looking worthy champions and they have been playing as a team of late. Sergio Ramos leading a majestic Madrid side to their first title in over seven years. The last time they won the La Liga was in 2012. Also, England has been settled, Liverpool have been crowned champions. So many games to look forward to, so many twists to look forward to. The Bundesliga has wound down and we know that Fortuna Düsseldorf and also Paderborn SC have been relegated. Unfortunately, we have some Ghanaians there. We'll be following them as they return to their parent clubs and to some of them to the second division of the Bundesliga. Let me know who was your outstanding performer for you in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy your week.